We're in the Avon Valley today to have a look, see how the water vole are getting on uh, that we released last year, but also to bolster the numbers up to make sure we've got a viable population. So we've got 75 uh, water vole coming in today, um, all captive bred, um, and they are coming alongside some additional water vole that we bought in the beginning of the year, alongside the Salisbury water voles. So the Salisbury River Park scheme, as good as it is, it unfortunately had water vole within the footprint of the works, which meant that we, we had to move them out of the way with a Natural England licence. There wasn't that much unoccupied habitat for water vole in the surrounding area, so we, we identified a, a perfect release site here in the Avon Valley. Good quality habitat, mink management, which is key to water vole survival. Um, and a, an, an onboard landowner to uh, allow the release. This area is, is a network of ditches with great connectivity to the River Avon, great suitability for, for um, waterfowl foraging, gives them great cover, and it's being managed for mink as well, which is, is a big tick, um, a, a necessity actually, for any waterfowl release. Um, and yeah, it's, it would have been full of water vole at, at some point, and, and we're, we're essentially looking to bring them back to the site. What we're doing today is a, a mix of soft and hard release of water vole, which is basically putting down cages, which we let them acclimatise to the site before then allowing them out to burrow and do what, what they need to do. They'll be within the soft release pens for five days um, before we put the baffles on, and then they're kind of on their own with a little bit of feeding and uh, for a little while after that. The voles coming in today have come in from uh, Derek Gow Consultancy down in Cornwall. These, these are being brought in to effectively ensure that we've got a viable gene pool um, and hopefully you know to expand out beyond this site and into the wider Avon catchment.